Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, it's an expensive one, isn't it? It's an expensive one. We're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, I, I think you're gonna need some help with this one. I mean, we are thankful for the samples, but uh -huh. this is a huge sample. It I mean, it's- <laughs> It's a decent sized sample. We've got, bam, this is Angel's Envy cast strength, courtesy of Laura over at Baker Drinks. Now, normally we would cut right here and do the fancy bottle pans, but we don't have a bottle of this. Oh. And, and this is a nice, healthy two ounce pour it, it here. Awesome. And that's a, a very generous sample. So thank you uh, very much, Laura. Absolutely. Definitely looking forward to getting into this. Um, so it's, I don't think it's any different than the regular Angel's Envy port finished bourbon, but it's just at cast oh, strength. Oh, port finished. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yep. So in full disclosure, I bought a bottle of Angel's Envy two years ago. It, was a, it seemed like an early review that we did on the channel. And yeah. I didn't love it. Like there was nothing wrong with it. It just, well, a little bit more premium in price. And we thought it was too proof down. And so this is where they proof it back up. Yeah, so or, this is perfect. Yeah, this will be, uh, that's I'm so interested in this because I like where the original Angel's Envy is going. It's just too low. I think it's at like 84 or 82. It's kind of a weird one, but it's in the, the low 80s. And, and this is, uh, well, it's 59 point, or 54, 59. It should say 119.8. She did the math. Thank you for that. So, ooh, nice and uh, very sweet. A little bit of like, I, I think if you said port finished, I would believe it because of the wine note, it, it's obviously bourbon, but a prominent kind of good finishing with the wine barrel. It's, you know what's interesting is it's there, but it doesn't hit you over the head. Yeah, it's not like you Concord know, it's not grape, yeah. Kinda, yeah, grapey. Nice caramel notes to it. But a darkness. Mm -hmm. A little bit of like, you know, sinister, kind of like heavy metal kind of approach to whiskey. Really? That's an interesting way to... Which is, you know, I mean, Angel's Envy, who knows. Um, this is not on the nose coming off like 119 proof. Hmm. It's yeah. definitely got yeah. some nice flavor, but it's not that overwhelming bite. No, but there is more, it's, I hate to say sweet because there's some sweetness and it's not over the top, but it's like prominent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a really nice, well-balanced kind of sweetness profile. So let's find out if it's there. Let's see what happens. Cheers. Cheers. Short summary. Yes, it's there. It's awesome. Oh yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's still there. It's still building and going and that almost has like a, a raspy caramel like that. You know, you've used the term raspy mm -hmm. to kind of describe, describe it a texture when something comes across as like, um, it's not just the proof, not just the alcohol, but the flavor almost is to the point that it has a texture to it. Yep. And that has that, like a, a nice caramely, the, the kind of red fruit is there, you mm -hmm. know, from the, the barrel that we talked about on the nose. Let me go in for another sip here. I don't know the age, right? Well, I no. certainly don't know the age. No, nope, don't know the age. I don't know if Angel's Envy even discloses that or not. But it definitely, like it's, there's not, it's not youthful or like too young by any means. Like it, it comes across as mature but not well-aged. Interestingly, like well -aged. <laughs> excuse me, interestingly enough though, it's not terribly oaky. Like I'm not getting a ton of the oak, like I'm getting a nice little kind of spice in the back end of it, I guess, that just kind of carries that sweetness. I think I am getting a bit of like the oak bitterness, like wood tannins. Um, so it's there, but it's subtle. Yeah. But more of, I don't know their mash bill. We really should do more research on this channel, but then that's not this channel. Like there's a bit of like a, a rye forward kind of whiskey note. I mean, by no means a rye whiskey. There's a whiskey but... note involved in this. That may be the most groundbreaking tasting note ever thrown out here at the Bourbon Or on a whiskey tube in general. There is a whiskey note to this. <laughs> no, a rye whiskey kind of note. Okay, I've gotcha. So like rye, I mean, the so grain. Getting, are you getting a little bit of that spice, the rye spice? But more like, are getting some of the vanillas coming out maybe? So rye whiskey almost has another flavor and I don't know how to describe it other than to call it clean. Okay. And I think it is in the, like the family of vanilla. It's in that range, but it has like a real clean, like flavor. Do you kind of get that with like a metallic 
taste is I think that's when it goes too far. Okay. Is when it gets into the coppery kind of yeah, metallic. Okay. Yeah. So it's in that vein, but it's not gone metallic yet. Interesting. Yeah, this is really good, but there is an elephant in the room with this one that we do need to talk about. You know, I'm not a... Well, and, we don't need to talk about my feeling about pachydermis, so we'll, well leave that I mean, we'll leave that's that a whole other channel. That's right. This is a suggested retail price of $230. For the full-size bottle, not the wee. Yeah. The wee sample. It does come in a fancy box. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've never even seen it, so I don't even know what we're talking about here. It's, I mean... Booker's is just nothing compared to oh. this one. I mean, oh, it's okay. like it's a fancy box that opens sure. up, you know. Yeah. From the, it, um, so the juice is great, but two hundred and thirty dollars we've kind of discussed for anything at this point. It's is too much. There's a li little bit of competition when you're north of one hundred and fifty dollars, let's say. Yeah, or even north of a hundred. Uh, even north of a hundred, there yeah. is significant competition, and so you have to either be a fan. Or you are a bourbon channel and you have to buy it just because you have to buy it. Yeah. Or you get a sample sent to you or, by another awesome bourbon channel. So, yes, again, thank you. Laura, go check out Baker Drinks. Totally. Subscribe. Great channel. Um, but, again, the price, I just, even, like, the best whiskey I've had, I don't think warrants a $230 retail. You know, because yeah. I think some of these ones, they just get crazy. Now, this is another thing. Our local Total Wines have a store pick of Angel's Envy that's 110 proof, okay. or 111, something like that. Sure. Which I'm assuming is that pick's cask strength, otherwise they just Reasonable proofed assumption. it to a weird proof. Yeah. $100. Oh, wow. So we're talking 130 less at retail. Not yeah. much difference in It's proof. the packaging. And I feel that the packaging on a lot of those really nice whiskeys is kind of intended to be a gift. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So maybe that's the normal one you would buy for a channel. But if you want to buy a gift, that you buy the one in the box and the ones that... Yeah, I, if I do that, I'm keeping the one in the box. I'm going to gift you like a Windsor Canadian. <laughs> but it'll be a home wrecker, you know? It'll be like a, the big... Yeah, well, know, it depends on... Yeah. So. Um, well, so if you get a chance to try this, I would certainly recommend trying it. Totally agree. It's really good. Just a lot of great sweetness. That port finish really works mm -hmm. on this one. It is a really, really nice flavor profile. Yeah. And I, I wish that Angel's Envy would maybe just do like a hundred proof. I know we joke around, we say that a lot on this channel, but that's they've a got second, a good whiskey that's really hamstrung by its proof. So that's a second whiskey in a row review that we've done where we've asked for a lower proof. And I, I acknowledge that that's not where you're going with this, but yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it anyway. <laughs> I was going to, yeah, I was going to go the higher proof from the regular yeah, offering, yeah. but I mean, yeah, they've got a great whiskey that they're working with here. I, I, I'm not sure that I really quite understand the, such a low proof, unless it's intended for yeah, more of a beginner. Maybe they're just kind of like trying to, you know, get some market share and get out there. Yep. And then it, they'll do more interesting stuff. And this absolutely qualifies. Yeah. But I think now they need to build out their line a little bit. Yeah, make some you know, maybe more like affordable a options. Bottle and bond at a yeah. reasonable, normal price of other competitors. Yeah, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Yeah, sure. totally. All right, well, this has been Angel's Envy Cask Strength 2022 release on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time. And thanks, Laura. <laughs> <laughs>